So, we have switched on the monitor, now let's see how everything works. OEM map nav button is used to switch to additional functionality, namely to the navigation box. Press the button, the software that you have chosen in the settings will appear automatically. How to do this in the settings? Easy. Go to setup. This is actually not the OEM menu screen, but the menu screen of the navigation box. However, all OEM functions can be still controlled from this menu. Go to general settings and you will be able to choose which installed software will be used when you press the map nav button. Let's switch to Navitel, press the map nav button and the software starts automatically. We powered off the monitor before, so that's why there is a message on the screen. Another very cool thing to mention, the software supports touch control. The developers try their best to accomplish almost the impossible. The control is very smooth and convenient. Another feature that I would like to show you is playing media content from the memory stick, which can be connected either to the OEM USB input or the additional USB cable. Connect the memory stick, press media and the radio appears. Press the same button again and the built-in player has automatically recognized the media content on the memory stick and by default launched the audio player. Video playback is also possible. Press this small button here and we have now switched to video playback. The video is automatically in full screen. Using the OEM buttons we can switch between videos, rewind or skip forward, increase or decrease the volume. As you can see, this solution does not only provide navigation for your head unit, but also expands its multimedia functionality. So you have seen what this navigation box is capable of. Let's sum everything up.